Hello everybody, welcome to the lecture series of C and data structures. In this lecture we are going to understand some basic concepts of C. So uh, in this lecture we are going to learn about the structure of a C program. We will be writing a very simple hello world program. We will be understanding how we can build a program and we will be doing some practical exercise where we will be writing a sample program, compiling it and executing it. So let's get started. Structure of a C program. So this is how the C program structure looks like. The first section of a C program is a documentation. This is not a mandatory uh, section but uh, this always helps to understand what your C program is all about. Anybody reading uh, your C file can get a first level understanding like what your C program is what inputs it will take and what output it will give. We will be having a section called preprocessors where preprocessors is nothing but a set of library functions that you are using in your C program. You will be having a section for global declarations where you will be declaring uh, variables that will be used throughout your program. You will be having a main function. Main function is a very important uh, function in a program. Uh, your main function is the entry point of your program uh, any any C program will always start with the main function then you will be having a user defined functions so these are options user defined functions are optional you it depends upon your logic you want to have user defined functions or not global declarations are also optional you want to have some global variables or not documentation is also optional uh, most of the time uh, you need to include at least one library file for example standard input output file or uh, it depends upon your program if you want to use any library or not so this is how your C program will look like this is a very simple C program which says hello world at the orange color you can see I have written this is my first C program. This is nothing but uh, declare uh, uh, documentation where you are saying that the my program is about my first C program. So anybody reading saying that okay, this could be a hello world program. So in this uh, green color, you can see I have defined preprocessors. Preprocessors uh, here I am using standard input output dot h. This is a library file and main method. Main method has a one statement called printf. Printf it is nothing but a function which is defined in stdio.h and this method will be printing hello world in my screen. Uh, you can see I have not used uh, global variables or any user defined functions as those are optional but anyway if you are writing a complex program you definitely need those so we'll be do understanding what a C program is how to build a C program so for building a C program you need to have a C compiler uh, for this throughout this lecture we'll be using GCC compiler uh, GCC compiler is very known open source compiler and uh, it is a very powerful compiler also to compile your C file, you can uh, you will be using this command gcc minus o output file name and input file name. For example, you will be giving gcc minus o hello world and your input file name which is hello world dot c. Hello world dot c is nothing but a file where you have written your program and this output file uh, this is output file which will be generated after the compilation. So the output file could be uh, either hello world.exe or hello world.o it depends upon which platform you are running this command so this is how your program uh, uh, this is how your program is built so it goes through uh, this uh, this cycle so, uh, first you will give hello world.c and stdio.h uh, stdio 
to your compiler uh, before compiling it will be pre-processed pre-process is nothing but mer uh, merging your all all the required files into one file for example it will merge your header file and your dot c file into one file and produce dot i file this dot i file will be compiled by the gcc compiler and the gcc compiler will check if your program has some compilation error if it is uh, successful this the compilation is successful it will generate an assembly uh, level file which is dot s file which is uh, nothing but assembly level codes assembly level codes will be again uh, checked by assembler and the assembler will generate a dot o file dot o file is nothing but uh, machine level instructions these machine level instructions will be uh, taken by the linker the linker takes multiple dot o files if it if the multiple o files are present merge these and produce a single executable file so this is how uh, in a, a, at a high level your c program builds so let's get started let's get started with installing a gcc compiler so uh, to, uh, you need a, uh, we will be using a code blocks for uh, um, code blocks tool for building our c program you can go to codeblocks.org and you can download the editor you can download the binary release i'll be downloading this file for windows from sourceforge.net it will start my so after downloading and installing uh, code blocks you will be getting uh, you can open code blocks editor and you will be getting this screen you can uh, create your uh, c file like this you can go to file new file c or c++ source can select C you can give a path so I have given hello world dot C so it will generate one empty file called hello world dot C uh, I can in this file you can write your samples program so let's begin by writing the documentation okay let's declare some preprocessors it will be hash include stdio.h then write a main method here I am using printf so this is my very s first C program here I am I have added a documentation. This is my first C program. Here these are my preprocessors hash include stdio.io.h. This is my main method. I am printing hello world and returning zero. So main method you can I either return uh, include a return type or not. So we'll be covering this in later part of the series, but at this point of time just you can uh, say return zero can save it and build it you can choose build and run so in this section here so after building and running you will be getting this window and here you can say hello you can see hello world is printed 
so this is how you can write more and more programs i'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video please like the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment us in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos do look out for other related videos in our playlist for more information visit our website now keep learning with intellipat